Okay, welcome to Pig Tid, places I go, things I do. Today we're getting the bike ready for a cross-country trip to Maryland. I'm going to add some saddlebags to it, and this is a 2021 tri-glide. So we'll try and give you a few pointers here and see what problems we run into. Okay, as with all things Harley, highly recommend you read the instructions really good first. Not too much hardware with this to go on, put the bag on. You will need a 1332nd inch drill bit and a 932nd inch drill bit, as well as a couple Allen wrenches. Uh, I'll get you the sizes in a minute. Thanks. So Harley does include a template for each side. Um, I prefer to cut mine out with a razor blade. I just think I get a straighter cut that way, rather than using a pair of scissors. Okay, once you have your template cut, you're going to want to put it on the fender and you're going to want to align it with the bend in the body, that's where the bottom of the template will go, and along the side of the fender. That should be in the instructions. Alright, next step is to drill a couple holes. Uh, well, actually, they say use a punch. I like to use a really small drill bit so that uh, I'm a little more accurate with that so you can see it's not... Really huge size there. So as you can see with the drill bit, I just barely nicked the fiberglass. I don't want to go deep on that at all. Just make a just a mark on it. Then put masking tape on it. That prevents chipping and cracking of the paint as you drill. And when you drill, uh, I would be very gentle with the fiberglass. Okay, and hopefully you come out with a couple fairly clean looking holes like that using the 1332nd drill bit. I like to use the uh, cordless drill, battery powered, if I can turn it a lot slower. It makes it a lot uh, safer on the fiberglass. Alright, next step, put your bolt through your docking port and put that through the fender. And then the fun part comes, you get to reach up in there and hold the nut while you tighten those up a little bit. Might be kind of hard to see that, but now the bag is sitting on the docking ports that we put in. And now we're going to put it up against the body and drill the hole for the uh, part. Especially for this part, a drill bit's going to come in handy because uh, you need to go through this little hole right in here. And it's a little bit of depth. Kind of hard to get a punch through there. You also want to line up, at least I did, the top of the bag with the edge of your body frame there. You don't want it sitting over on the fender like that for just aesthetically pleasing. Okay, take the bag off, put your tape on, and you're ready to drill the last big hole. Now you need to center this big hole on the quarter turn plate on the hole you just drilled. And then mark the two little holes for the screws that hold that on and drill them out with the 932nd drill bit. These are small holes that you're making now. Okay, now this piece can be a little confusing and their directions aren't the best. But basically you're going to slide this up into this lip here. And this is going to go on the underside of the fender and your pin nuts are going to go through there. Alright, so if you have it on there correctly, basically this is going up against the bottom of the fender and this is going down towards the road, sort of. Okay, time to tighten everything up. Um, Harley, bless her heart, doesn't tell you in the instructions that you're also going to need a 9 16 wrench, a 5 32 Allen wrench, and a 7 32 Allen wrench. But most Harley guys will figure that out soon enough. Okay, the top nuts, or top bolts, you don't need anything uh, except the Allen wrench to tighten those. The bottom two that are bigger, you're going to need the 9 16th and the 7 32nd. And 
Just a word of caution, whenever you're tightening on fiberglass, always be cautious. Don't over tighten. You could put some thread lock on there. I didn't. I may regret that, but we'll see how they hang in there. And there it is. The bag is installed. They actually have quite a bit of room in there. You can put a couple different bottles of water, stuff up behind and up higher. So, pretty handy little footers to have on the trike. And this is not an instructional video. It's simply one showing you things that I do and how I did them. Thanks for watching.